Hey love, what's up? Welcome to Confidently Uncomfortable. I'm your host, Jago, health and lifestyle coach and not so regal confidence queen. Coming at you with the real, the raw, and of course, the uncomfortable. My mission is to show you that to be confident, it has absolutely nothing to do with being perfect or having it all together and everything to do with you getting uncomfortable and pushing your limits. Thanks for joining me. Let's dive in. I'm so glad you guys are here today. I'm very much looking forward to this episode. It's been on my heart for a while to really dig deep into meditation. And I feel like this is exactly what we need and what the world needs right now. Just with all that's going on with COVID-19, with the coronavirus, if you're watching this late in the game, hey, from the other side, but remember that time that there was overwhelm and that unknowing feeling of what's going on and what's going to happen that can cause a lot of anxiety. That can cause just a lot of overwhelm. And I've had so many women reaching out to me, just asking for some positivity, some guidance, kind of where to go and help release that overwhelm and anxiety. So you guys know, like I've dealt with anxiety and overwhelm, and I'm so thankful for the practices that I've already instilled and that I instill into my clients because we need those things now more than ever. Those rituals that we do to help quiet our mind, to help slow down our thoughts and not get into that spiral of overwhelm because it's very easy to let one thought spiral into a lot of other things. It's really easy to let um, one change in our life, which there's so much change going on, but let one change really snowball into a lot of other things and basically create that all or nothing mentality. Like, well, if this is changing in my life, then it's all impossible and you just give up on your goals or your structure in your life and you're just feeling very blah. And I know that feeling. I know that tightness in the chest. So today is very special because I'm going to actually be running you through a guided meditation by Eternity Yoga, and I'm very much looking forward to it. I meditate every single morning. I do visualization at least twice a week, um, and I highly, highly recommend it. I think that right now, It's very easy to get caught up in consumption of all the news stuff going on, what other people are saying about things. And it's not that I don't want you to be informed, but when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is meditate. That is going to transform your outlook on the day, your outlook on the situation. And so I highly recommend you find a quiet space. So if you're driving right now, this is not the episode you want to listen to. So save this one, download it. And then make a schedule to yourself to sit down later today and go through this meditation. So I meditate, like I said, every day. I use different apps. I also sometimes just use music in the background and do my own visualization activities. So I use Headspace. That one's nice because with Headspace, um, you can change the amount of time that you want. You can change the voice that you want to hear. It's very nice because it's not judgmental and it doesn't come off as very woo-woo. So if you're new to meditation, it's perfect because it doesn't have like flutes in the background or any kind of like chanting. It's just very, you know, it's great for the introduction to meditation. Um, Calm, the Calm app is very nice because if you are feeling overwhelmed at night, they can tell you a bedtime story. There's just a lot of great meditation space there. And then when I'm doing meditation or visualization, I will often listen to binaural beats um, and I'll put these in the show notes but it's a great way to help really get your mind in the right state to meditate and to visualize what you want for your life. So some keys to meditation that I would want you to find right now while you're getting into this space is I want you to find the right space for you to meditate. So it's not always ideal. There might be a lot going on for you right now. So if you can find some space, if you're listening to this in like your office, find a space you can even sit at your office chair. That's fine. Just limit distractions. Put your phone on do not disturb. Close your computer. All those fun things. Um, and then you can also do it on the ground. So you can lay on the ground. You can do it seated. You can do whatever. But just find a space that feels calm for you. Um, you can do this anywhere. Like if you were, let's say, in the carpool line, Um, or parking and waiting in your car. Yeah, you can do it. But I want you to find a space that feels sacred to you. If you're working from home right now, sometimes it's hard to separate home and work life. So try and find a space that maybe is separate from that or take your 
chair and move it into a different corner with a different focus, a different focal point. So focal point is the next point when it comes to this is if you are someone who struggles with your like getting distracted or getting bored or just not being able to focus during meditation, that's okay. Don't blame yourself. And if thoughts do come up during this meditation that are outside of what I'm talking about, that is okay. Let them come and let them go. Because if you focus on that and just getting mad at yourself, that is not going to help release the thought. Just let it come in and then come back to your breath whenever you can, okay? Vocal points you can use could be like a picture. It could be an object. It could also be a candle. I, I love having a candle because the flame moves enough for me to feel like there's some movement, whereas my mind can really calm down from just focusing on that candle. So, I'll do that early in the morning sometimes, light a candle and have that be my focal point when I'm doing the meditation and visualization. And it's very, very helpful. And then scent can be very helpful too. So if you have essential oils, you could find one that that you always use when you meditate, whether it's like lavender or something around that, that can really help you um, just bring you back to that mindset. So these rituals that you do to kind of set up your space for meditation is going to really help set up your mindset for meditation as well. So when I have my morning routine, that's kind of what I do is I have like my checklist of things I do. Like I wash my face, I come into a different room, I lay on my yoga mat on the floor, or I sit on the yoga mat if I'm lighting a candle, and then I have my scent going as well. And of course, your breathing is going to be important as well. So I'll be asking you to come back to your breath. I'll be asking a lot of different things of you, but I just want you to give yourself space. So with the meditation, it's going to be about uh, 20 minutes or so. And just give yourself the space to do this. You need this. I think sometimes we get caught up. We're like, oh, well, I'm not burning calories or this isn't going to help me lose weight. But really what we need right now is to limit the stress. The stress on your body really makes an impact on your health and your wellness mentally and physically. And so right now I want you to take the time you need to go through this guided meditation, find that space. I'll let you get there and then we'll get started in about one minute. So this brief guided meditation script is going to guide you through a very healing visualization process. It's going to help you with peace and tranquility. And you can use this meditation to experience a feeling of peace, tranquility, transcendence, and just calm overall. So we're going to release that tension that you've been feeling or holding on to. What I'd like you to do first is just sit comfortably or lie down with your eyes closed. We're going to begin by becoming aware of our breath. So you don't need to change anything. You don't need to force anything, but just feel the breath as it enters with a cool feeling, then warming as it gently travels down into the lungs. Feel the lungs with a deep inhale, bringing an energy of vitality and prana, the life force. Feel that energy and light coming into your body as you breathe in. As you exhale, feel the body releasing the toxins, stress, and any negativity that's accumulated. So feel your body physically release that stress as you exhale. Stay with this breath, focusing on the feeling of deep peace for 10 deep inhalations and exhalations. Continue for 10.
Feel the energy that is in the body as you're breathing. Become aware of the warmth and tingling of every cell. As you inhale, you're breathing in that energy. And with every exhale, feel the muscles release and relax. We're going to do a body check. Go ahead and inhale. As you exhale, starting from the crown of your forehead, just take note of your body and tell it to relax. So relax your eyes. Relax your head into the ground. Release that jaw. Sink deeper into the ground. Let the shoulders fall open. Release the tension. Identify where there's any tension along the back. And then every exhale, feel that tension release into the ground. Feel the hips sink deeper. They're melting down into the ground. Let the legs just fall out naturally. Every exhale, a little more tension releases. Feel the energy that is in the extended environment around you in every part of nature and in every living thing. Bring all those energies together and feel them as one. Visualize all of that energy shining brightly as the sun. See that sun. Bring the shining glow of bright energy over the crown of your head. Hold it there. Feel it start to travel down into your body from the top of your head, slowly going down into your face and neck. Traveling down into the shoulders, all the way down into the arms, down into the fingers. Feel the light continue traveling down your legs all the way down to your toes. You can continue with your gaze or close your eyes here. Continue to come back to your breath. If a thought has come in, let it enter and then exhale, release it and just continue to focus on your breath.
Continue to breathe. We're going to go into a mantra. I want you to inhale and say, I release all anxious thoughts and fears. Hold that inhale. Exhale, replacing them with faith and gratitude. Inhale, I release all anxious thoughts and fears. Exhale, replacing them with faith and gratitude. Continue with this. Breathe in, release all anxious thoughts and fears. Hold that breath. Big exhale, release the tension, replacing them with faith and gratitude. Continue breathing. Your whole body is now filled with divine healing light and energy. Allow that healing energy to completely fill any physical area that needs healing today. Check your body. Breathe into that area. Release any tension you're holding on to in your face. Relax the space between your eyebrows on your forehead. Allow this light and energy in. Feel it warming, healing, and expanding through the area in your body.
Allow the healing light to bring peace and healing to any emotional issues or traumas. Any anxiety or overwhelm you're feeling, feel that light come in and a feeling of peace fall all over you. If the mind starts to allow thoughts to come back in, remind yourself that you're going to release all anxious thoughts and fears and replace them with faith and gratitude. Bring your awareness to any intentions or desires that you may have during this time. Hold the thoughts of those intentions and desires as you allow the healing light and energy to bring you in your deepest desires to life and your intentions into reality. Feel your connection to divine energy and light and know that all is one. Stay with this deep, relaxing, and peaceful feeling of bliss as your body continues to sink into the ground with every breath. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes.
Whether you're seated or standing, inhale, reach your arms over your body and stretch. Place your palms of your hands together over your body and slowly bring those hands down to your forehead between your eyes, your nose and mouth, and then down to your chest. Go ahead and open your eyes now where you're at. Namaste. The light in me bows to the light in you. I'm so glad you spent this time today. If you're in a state of just re relaxation and you want to stay here longer, you can. If you're lying down, go ahead and roll over to the left side. Knees are bent. Just relaxing your head on your arm. Take a few more cleansing breaths here, whether you're seated with your hands flat on your knees or you're lying with your head on your arm. When you're ready, press up to seated. If you're not there already, open your gaze. Take one more big breath in. Release all anxious thoughts and fears. Hold that breath at the top here. Take in a little more air if you can into those lungs. And then one final exhale. Faith and gratitude as you go throughout this day. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for coming today. If you feel like someone else would benefit from just this space to release any anxiety or tension they've been feeling, then please send this to them. Um, you are welcome to listen to this again. I highly recommend doing some form of meditation when you wake up in the morning and if you're feeling any kind of anxiety going to bed at night, that as well. Throughout your day today, just come back to this feeling. Take 30 seconds to come back to your breath and come back to that mantra of releasing all anxiety and coming back to faith and gratitude. Everything you've done in this practice, you can harness into that 30 seconds by coming back to your breath, finding a focal point, and finding your calm. Focus on what you can control and release what you can't. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for those of you who share this with other people. And if someone shared this with you, I appreciate you listening to them because they care. I care about you guys. You are not alone. We are in this together and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Thanks again for listening to Confidently Uncomfortable. I love being able to connect with you here and honestly, don't want it to end. So head over to my Facebook group, Body Confident Blueprint, and be sure to follow me on Insta at JagoFitLife. Also, if you're ready to get real confidently uncomfortable, go leave this podcast a five-star review and email me the review screenshot, support at JagoFit360.com, for a chance to win a free 30-minute fitness audit and goal-setting session. I appreciate your support. See you next time.